We're celebrating Valentine's Day early this year. Hey guys, Sean here from the Everyday Aficionados, and today we're taking a look at a new Valentine's Day variant of Stone's Enjoy By IPA. So for this one, they added chocolate and coffee. It's 9.4% ABV. Obviously, this is their Enjoy By double IPA, but with coffee and chocolate added to it. They say this one's flirtatiously fresh for Valentine's Day. I've had Stone's Mocha IPA before. I actually recorded a review for it a while ago. Hopefully I can get that edited and uploaded before I post this, but I enjoy the Mocha IPA and I expect this to be kind of similar. Always interested to try a new variant of Enjoy By, so let's get into this one. Oh yeah, definitely getting a Mocha character coming through in this one. The coffee and the chocolate are definitely there in the aroma getting that roasty pepper skin like character from the coffee and just a really nice milk chocolatey cocoa powder like character behind that getting the the tropical fruity hop characteristics as well as a little bit of a piney dankness it almost has like a cola like aroma to it but yeah it definitely smells a little bit like the mocha ipa from what i remember let's get into the taste Cheers. Oh yeah, very similar to the Mocha IPA based off of memory. I actually think this one's a little bit better because I think the hops are a little bit more interesting and they come through a little bit more in this one with that tropical fruity-like character. You get the like the really ripe sort of tropical papaya-like mango characteristics. But the coffee and the chocolate are very pronounced in this one. And it works well. It doesn't feel like schizophrenic or anything like that. To me, the roastiness from the coffee, the green pepper characteristics, it links up really nicely with the piney character. And the chocolate characteristics, the milk chocolatey cocoa powder-like character, links up really nicely with the malty backbone in this one. Yeah, when you combine like the malty sweetness, the bready malt backbone with the chocolatey characteristics, it's almost like a malted milk ball or something like that. And then you get, like I said, more of the sharp, bitter coffee characteristics, the, the bitter pine going along with that as well. Definitely a bit of a grapefruit citrus character in there too. Almost like a slight dark chocolate covered orange character in there. Getting a decent amount of that cola character that I was getting on the aroma too. Definitely a little bit earthy, uh, very herbal as well. As for the body, I would say it's around medium body, some nice soft carbonation in there, a moderate amount of bitterness to this one as well. And for 9.4% ABV, you're not getting any of the alcohol coming through. It's really well hidden. A little bit of a sweetness to this beer that carries through towards the finish, a bittersweet finish on this one. You get the linger of that bitter chocolate character, the roast, as well as some of the, the piney bitter characteristics. For my final thoughts on coffee and chocolate enjoy by this one's gonna get an a minus for me a really clever valentine's day release from stone and surprisingly it works really well it's a really cohesive beer the coffee and the chocolate work well with the base ipa characteristics it adds a little bit of a desserty side to it and i would say that this one's a little bit better than their mocha ipa so if you enjoy coffee and chocolate and stone ipas then you'll really enjoy this one have you guys tried this variant of Enjoy By? What do you think of it? What are some of your favorite coffee and chocolate IPAs? Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Until next time, drink responsibly and passionately. Thanks for watching. I love you.